Hello, everyone. I pray that God is blessing you all. I have noticed something. Let me say this first. Most things in my life is going pretty well. Most things. But there is maybe, I should say, a small percentage of my life that is not going so well. And I have noticed something. That small percentage, or should I say within that small percentage, It kind of makes me think in a negative way toward things. I really hope this is making sense to you. So within that small percentage of things that are not going so well in my life, within it, it kind of makes me think in a negative way toward things. Like I may watch something and depending on what it is, I may think in a negative way toward it. Even though, like there isn't any evidence of it, perhaps. I may look at someone and probably without trying, negative thoughts may begin coming to my mind. I would say mainly because of emotional hurt. So can you really relate to this? Like, your mood is more negative, like you think more negative toward people that you probably don't even know. Like even your overall attitude is probably negative as well because of something that may have hurt you in the past, or maybe you are currently going through something now. Even though we have been hurt, even though we have been betrayed, we have to think positively. We have to be in, be in a better mood. I believe that negative things are always going to come to our lives. But we can't become stuck in the area. How can I say this? We can't become stuck because of hurt, because of pain. Like we need to move on. Like I said, most things in my life are going pretty well. You know, I may have difficulties over here and over there, but mostly, most things are going well in my life. So how is it that small percentage may seem like it overwhelms the good that is happening in my life? And I truly believe that is demonic. How can something small seem so large? Since mostly good is happening in my life, why isn't it that I should mostly have positive thoughts, which, which I push myself to think positively? But as it seems like, 
the small negative tries to overwhelm the positive thoughts that I should be having. And we can't let that happen. This person did you wrong. That person lied on you. This person accused you falsely. Okay. It may have hurt you very badly. But we can't have, well, this person did me wrong, so I'm going to have hate for people in general. Like, I am not going to trust anyone anymore. I am not going to, like, people are my enemy. We must not become that way. If someone comes to us, I guess, in a nice way, I don't think it would be wise to quickly, like, hey, this person is probably trying to uh, take advantage of me, so I'm not going to, we must not become that way. I am not saying we should be naive. I am not saying that we shouldn't be cautious because I believe we should be cautious, but we can't just say like, hey, I don't know this person, but this person is coming to me in a very, very nice way, so possibly this person may mean me no good. We can't say that because we have been hurt by a person or people. We must get out of that mind frame. Yes, be cautious. I believe you can interact with a person if you choose to. I believe you can interact with a person, but not have negative thoughts about that person when there is no evidence that that person is doing wrong. I really hope this is making sense here. We can't allow our hurt make us into a person to where we suspect almost everyone that comes near us of wrongdoing, even if they did no wrong. We can't become that way. I know that many of us, I guess, don't want to get hurt again, so we may place up, um, I don't know what word to use, borders, in between people, which is not always bad, but we can't be like that type of person that suspect bad when we see good. Of course, what some people may do, they may come to you in a very nice way in order to try to manipulate you later. But even if there are bad apples in this world, we can't see everyone, you know, like guilty before proven innocent. We must not be that way. We must not have a total negative view of the world. Even though there is so much evil in this world, I believe there is some good in the world. We must not begin punishing people because of what some people have done to us in the past. We can't be that way. Like, always afraid, always anxious, always uh, paranoid. Like, uh, I wonder if this person is going to do the same thing that my enemy did to me back in the past. We must not be that way. So even if negative thoughts come to our mind, telling us this person is bad, you know, don't get close to this person, don't get close to that person, even though there is no evidence that person is wrong, we need to be cautious, but we need to be in control 
of our thoughts. We need to pray like, God, you know, I have been hurt. Please help me to heal. I think a lot of us are not healed. I believe we are still hurting to where we may hurt others. And that is no good. Like, God, please heal me. We need to pray that. God, please heal us. Heal me from whatever happened. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to think everyone is a particular way, even though I have no evidence of it. I don't want to be a cynical, if I am saying that right, a cynical person. I don't want to be like this very, very negative and distrusting, distrusting person. We need to pray about it. God, if there is any unforgiveness within me, please help me to get rid of it. We have to make sure we forgive. I believe one of the ways we can heal is accept what happened. So let's say you have been betrayed. Accept that it happened. Like, don't try to act like it did not happen and try to bury it in your mind. I believe that is going to really probably make things worse. Even though you may try to hide it, I believe you are going to act out your pain. Do you understand what I mean? Like some men may believe that it is, you know, crying makes you weak or whatever ignorant mess they may say. Some men may think that. But if you don't cry, you are, I truly believe, you going to act out your pain in a particular way. Some some men may not cry, but they may be overly aggressive, may go to prison over and over again, may begin to shoot people and mess like that. So what's worse, crying or going to prison or doing harm to others? No, accept what happened. Hey, I have been abused. I have been hurt. I have been betrayed. I have, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it may hurt you very well. It may hurt you very badly, but I believe that is when he your healing can begin. Not be in denial. No, nothing happened. Nothing happened. I am okay. No, you're not. You are not okay. Accept what happened. Stop using drugs to cover your pain. Stop using alcohol to cover your pain. Stop taking pills and stuff like, like uh, abusing. Let me say it like that. Stop abusing drugs. Like popping pills and stuff to cover the pain. Accept it. Yes, you may act really wild or, you know, you may start crying a lot and being so hurt, but you need to accept and cope. Like, hey, this happened and I'm going to cry as much as I have to. Hopefully it's not to where you cry for like two years and stuff cry for a proper amount of time i should say uh grieve whatever else like that and move on learn how to deal with the pain like hey i have been hurt i have accepted that i have been hurt or this or that happened to me and i am choosing to forgive even though it is hard I am choosing to move on even though it is hard. I am choosing to not take revenge on the person 
that has hurt me. This is how you heal. Being in denial, it did not happen. It did not, you know, I did not do this. I am okay. You know, everything's okay. You may think you are hiding. Uh, I don't know how to say it. You may think that you are hiding it, but I believe you are going to act out the pain. You may be in denial something happened or you may try to take it out of your mind, but you are going to act out the pain. I truly believe it. You are going to act out the pain and hurt people that you should not. We should not hurt people at all, but you are going to hurt people that are innocent because you are choosing to not accept what happened. I can't accept that this happened to me back in the past, so I am going to try to hide it. How can you hide it when you are acting out the pain? I think this is what many people are doing. Maybe they were younger and they may think to themselves they are so strong because they don't cry, they don't really talk about their problems, but they are hurt. I believe much of those people are hurting people. Yelling at people at the top of their, like someone steps on your shoe and you begin yelling at the top of your lungs. Someone said something that was not bad, but you took it wrongly. So you punch that person in the face or you uh, do something very bizarre to where you are placed in prison. Why is that happening? Why is that happening? You need to accept what happened to you. Yes, it is embarrassing. Yes, you probably did not deserve it. Yes, you were young. Yes, you did not ask for it, but it happened. It happened. Accept what happened and move on. Like uh, I was telling this person, um, a while back, I am not going to, going to exactly say what it is, but a person was holding on to a particular thing. And I told that person, listen, in, in so many words, I told that person, you need to accept what happened and move on. No, 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 no. I'm going to, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. I am going to hold on to this, you know, thought. And if you don't release that, if you don't accept what happened, it is going to continue to cause you pain. I, you know, I am fine and, you know, I, I am over it. I knew that person. I believe I knew that person was not being totally honest. And I believe because that person is still holding on for whatever reason, I believe that person is still not healed. I believe that person is still hurting people. You need to let go. You need to accept what happened. Accept it. Some people may have been adopted. And maybe they don't want to accept that they were given away. Yes, that's painful. Yes, that may be embarrassing, but you need to accept it. Some things happened to me. I don't like it, but I have to accept it. In order for me to heal, I need to, yes, this bad thing happened to me. This bad thing happened to me. I accept it. I don't like it, but I accept that it happened. 
time for me to move on. I have to stop for an example, I'm not saying that this is what I do. I have to stop hating people. I have to get that grudge out of my heart. I need to accept what happened, trust in God and move on. Am I telling you it is very easy? No, God, please help me to get over what happened to me. But you need to accept it. Stop holding on to lies. Get rid of those lies. This happened. I am hurt. Let me cry. Let me grieve. Not have it for like two, three years. I'm still grieving. No. Let me grieve. Let me cry. Let me move on. I probably did not deserve it. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Um, you were probably young and stuff like that, but hey, it happened. Like you can't, it would not be wise. Or how is it helpful to keep holding on to pain? It happened to you when you were five or 10, but you are still holding on to it. Now you are 20. You are still holding on to it. Now you are 30. You are still like what it like you are 60 now and you are still holding on to it. What? What is holding on to your pain? Like, what is it doing for you? Is it giving you comfort? Because if it is giving you comfort, that is a problem. Your pain should not give you comfort. Why are you holding on to your pain? Release it. Accept it like, hey, it happened. Do you think holding on to your pain will make things better? constantly meditating on what happened to you do you believe that is going to make things better constantly blaming people for what happened to you do you think you can move on from doing that no you causing your own self to be sick you are causing your own self to be troubled you are causing your own self to stay in the rut that you are in. Move on. Accept it. It happened. I am embarrassed. I don't like it, but I am choosing to forgive. I am choosing to move on. I am choosing to do what is right even though I feel betrayed. That is the way you have to be. No, Kevin. I am going to hold on to it. I am going to have hate for that person. I am going to constantly think about it because it hurts so much. That is ignorance, man. That is complete ignorance. All these years from age 10 to age 60, you held on to your pain. What good did it do for you other than well, it's not good. What good did it do for you? It probably made you bitter. It probably made you hateful. It probably made you into a worse person. We are going to suffer pain in this life. That is normal. It's not about how much pain we go through, but how we deal with it. Are we still able to love a person even after we have gotten hurt. Are we still able to treat people rightly even though we got hurt? Are we able to forgive even though we have been hurt? That is the thing right there. You will always go through pain. Always. So are you going to get stuck at every point of time when you begin, when you get hurt? 
That is immaturity. That is. If you always getting stuck when you get hurt, that is, you need to grow up. You need to emotionally and most likely spiritually grow up. Don't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80. Doesn't matter. Let me stop here, though. May God bless you.